Hey, this is Stefan Wutarisha and this is a very short tutorial to show you how to create very simple stick figures for your environment sketches but um, figures that are dynamic enough to you know, tell something about uh, the environment and maybe bring some sort of a, a feeling of having a character, a real character standing while staying extremely uh, uh, expressive as fast um the same keeps kind of the same degree of expressivity that you will have in your in your very fast sketch like this is 10 minute sketch or something so this is very simple you see and honestly this technique though it is very simple it is very very useful to create like sort of a very simple figures that you you don't really have control over they are they are expressive and they are very fast to draw so if you have several to do uh, you can you can draw them and, and I like this approach because this way you, you are not really in control and sometimes it, it can give you like very interesting idea to uh, to create a, a more developed uh, character from base silhouettes. I'm going to show you the best technique. It's extremely simple. It's so simple that often my my students are they find it extremely funny. Okay. And now you squeeze it just like that. Just correct the top of the head to create some 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 sort of real real figure. You know, you can create some some proportion if you need. And this is it. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, done. Squeeze it, correct a bit. And they have a very small head and so on, but the, the idea here is not to have some things that that actually look uh, realistic or, or something, but just to have sort of a figure that uh, can can work just to stand and give an indication, for example, of scale of scale or something like that. Let's do another one. So the legs are a bit too small, so I'm going to make a bigger bridge here. Up, maybe he is holding something. Yeah, now sorry, you can get like sort of some some sort of backpack if you want. You can you can complexify the, the silhouette if you need to. Anyway. And there is interesting variation you can do, for example, if you do something like that. With the recording, my, my computer is a bit slow, sorry. You're going to get some of different, some sort of a different uh, shape. Yeah, one. Let's let's create several now. Can use a different brush. It obviously give some variations in the results.
one again let's change the brush and take something quite different see what it does sometimes it does it doesn't work you know it's sort of a trial and error process but it's really fun to do and sometimes you can you can get very expressionist silhouettes that that are interesting in a sketch just to convey just a feeling of human presence without being uh, exact even with brushes like that it sort of give an interesting result Another brush, maybe I don't know this one. Oh, it's very, very loud. I'm going to try something extremely geometric to see. You no, know, you just get to experiment because after a while you kind of develop a feeling of what it's going to look like based on the initial shape it looks like he is sort of a, or she is he or she is sort of working Try with another brush. Just uh, looking for brush that maybe can generate surprising shapes, like this one, for example. Some of, of the most predictable, predictable brush, brushes, brushes, sorry, they actually give surprising results. You can really start to see the base of, a, of an interesting silhouette work. Last one. Something very exaggerated here. So it's more like some sort of three quarter. Okay, so you get the idea. It's very, very simple, very fast. And uh, when you start to really spend some time on it, it becomes it becomes very fun because there are very interesting shapes to 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 find to look for. And 
Sometimes it's it's too noisy. Sometimes it's too simple. Hey, one again. So let's put this one in context to see, for example. See, and from here I can have idea maybe maybe this this figure it has a shield, I don't know, some sort of shield here. You know from here you can just do your usual usual stuff and uh, just have some fun inventing something. So here it is, the stick figure tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and you are going to make a tons of stick figures now. <laughs> See ya.